Brazil, vamos lá! Paralympians from every corner of Brazil have been promoting the country's first Paralympic Games ever with samba. Team Brazil is hoping to move up two places from London 2012 and finish fifth in the overall medal table. To achieve that, the athletes say they need crowd support. We need a crowd. And then people cheating for us all the, game, all the match. That's uh, the secret for us. We play, we are very emotional in the court. So people talking and screaming for us, it's very good. That's going to be different for us. Just two weeks ago, organizers were not only facing budget shortfalls for the Paralympics, but also had sold only 12% of the available tickets. On the eve of the Games, ticket sales are still below the target. Of the 2.5 million available tickets on our website, we expect to sell 80%. That is 2 million tickets. We already sold more than 1 million, so we are more than halfway. Travel grants for foreign delegations had to be paid up front by the International Paralympic Committee and will be reimbursed in Rio with emergency public funds from the federal government and the city. Well, there have been a number of issues in the run-up to the Rio Paralympics. Organizers and athletes are confident that the event will match the success of the recent Olympics. The challenge is the same we had for the Olympic Games. The success of those Games makes us believe that the Paralympics will also be a success. Costs have been slashed to host the Games. Officials are counting on the warmth of Brazilians to once again show the world that their country can deliver a spectacular event. Lucrecia Franco, CCTV, Rio de Janeiro.